In this video, we're going through how you can use due dates to your advantage, how you can also use custom field as a date to control what you have to do for the week ahead or for the month. In my workspace, I'm using Inbox. So Inbox gives you all the due dates on what you need to perform according to what is the due dates. So you got this month, you got next month, this goes to all your tasks. That's fine. That's the common way to do your due date. But the due date fails to tell you what you have to do for the week ahead or what you have to do today because it's only giving you the deadline. Now, the way I determine what I have to do next is by custom field. And I've built a dashboard to do that. I've got all my different items that has to be completed and it is what must be done for this month. Another way that I use what to do next is following the method by Chris Bailey on Productivity Project. A very good book, can't recommend it enough. And he speaks about doing three things per day, or at least three things in each day. And what I've done here is I'm using what ClickUp calls lineup. So in lineup under your home, we can see all the lineup of items that has to be done. And I use this to focus my time on three things per day and also adding items which I don't want to go and add a whole new task for, which has to be top of mind. So those are the three ways that I've set up my dates and how to keep control of my workspace. I'm gonna go more in depth on how I actually did it. on how you can actually bring your business onto ClickUp. We've now got better consultants to make the task even more easier. And ClickUp itself has got really good content around on its website. And I've also myself committed one webinar per month to take you and grow your business using ClickUp. Now the way I do it is, instead of me putting all my stuff on next steps, because I have to put and allocate and assign myself, uh, what I do is I use the lineup function. So the lineup function is all the tasks which I need to do for the day. So Chris Bailey says about keeping three things, keeping it simple, at least achieve three items. So I try to keep my main three things here and also my quick wins. So that thing that takes maybe five minutes or half an hour to do, but it's going to win a client, it's going to send a proposal to someone, hopefully get more business in, or it's a simple task of just meeting a deadline where there's a pressing issue to be met. So instead of going into the complexities of dependencies and all that, I just tend to use lineup and it works for me. Then I've got inbox. Now inbox is when I go to inbox and I go to the next, this gives me all my deadlines. Now I'm aware and I'm conscious of all the deadlines for this month and for next month and for the future. Now. This is gives me a high level overview of what I must focus on to get, not get sidetracked. Okay, so this keeps a bit of focus. And then comes the dashboard of my next steps. Now the next steps, I try to look at it at either a month, for the whole month or for the whole week, depending what type of task there is stepped for the next steps. And I can see it by all my staff. What I can also do here is I can change this a little bit and I can also see the next steps according to group by priority. So I can also use it by priority and set priorities by each task. So that gives me a chance of what should do first and what should do last. Um, but in my business, I try to keep everything as a priority. Um, unless it's urgent, I try not to keep things as urgent. And that's the way I use the three ways. Okay, I'm in one of my clients and I want to add a due date to something. So here's a report and we're doing a management report for this client and we're now in January. And at the end of the month, I'd like this report for the January report to be completed. So I'll go into my January task and I'll add a due date. So by adding a due date, I'll put in the end of this month and I'll say a time, if I put a time and I'll say it must be done 
before close of business, 1700 hours, close. Now, just putting the due date doesn't necessarily mean it will go to my inbox. Just remember that. The only time this is going to go to my inbox is if I assign it to myself. If I assign it to someone else, it will go into their inbox. Now, this is really a good feature, but just keep note, it only works if you assign the task to yourself. So now if I go back to my home page, which is where the inbox lives, I will see that due next, okay, by next, for this month, that is the report that is due. That's quite straightforward, works really well, and I encourage you to keep all your deadlines using this method. Just keeps it crisp and clean. But what this method fails to do is it fails to tell you what you have to do next. Because think about it, you're not driven by your deadlines. Oh, I hope you're not driven by your deadlines. You should be driven by what steps you have to meet and what action steps you have to take to meet those deadlines. And how do you do that in ClickUp? So yes, I showed you the dashboard of how I do it. So on my dashboard, I've got all my staff members and we say what has to be done. So we got the next step date and we got what has to be done. And we got what's the next step date. Please email the potential client and please email on, on what date. So there's the due date, the 1st of January is the due date. But what is the date of the actual step that has to be taken? So the way we do that is by showing the custom field called step. So I'm going to put it inside. So the next step date is what is important for me. And there it gives me all the next steps which has to be performed and when it has to be performed. So using my dashboard, I can now see all the items which needs to be completed, the action steps, which is the next steps. And I can see not only the due date, but also I can see what date this step has to be completed by. So it's amazing. And I've put this next step filtered by month. So all the next steps for the following month, or the, I mean the current month. But I can also change it up and I can say all the next steps for the next seven days. So to change that filter, I'll go into the filter. And this also allows you to see the settings I used. So for this widget on how the dashboard is built, it's using the task list. I've named it next steps. I've grouped it by all my staff members, but I can also choose to group it by priorities if I want. I've included my subtasks, and this is where the task filter comes in. At the task filter level, I've chosen the custom field next steps, and I've set everything for this month. But as I said, I can change it and I can say it for the next seven days. So next seven days, template, done. This can also work well to keep track of items that should have been done, but hasn't been done. So you can change it up and say, please give me all the next steps that was due the past seven days. And that's still active. So this really helps you balance your time and keep you track and what you have to do for the week ahead. Now, I'm a strong, strong fan of Chris Bailey and he wrote a brilliant book. Two, year, two years ago, I got hold of this book called Productivity Project and I can't recommend it enough. The concepts and the way the book was written just sparked action and just said, how can I implement these ideas in my business? And that's one of the main reasons how I got ClickUp. Because I was looking for a software that I could actually implement those ideas with. And there's no software out there, it's just either too rigid, Excel, well, you can't control much in Excel. And when I started playing around with ClickUp two years ago, and there wasn't much content on YouTube back then, like what we have now. And as I built ClickUp up, it really speaks to what and how Chris Bailey 
puts his concepts down. And one of those concepts is doing three things in your day. So narrowing down the top three things that should be done for that day. And the way I use that is under the inbox, on the home page, so if you go into home, you'll see there's a thing called lineup. Now, how do you get tasks to this lineup? You simply go into the task. Let's say it's a report. There's a report I have to send to the client. It's everything's done. It just maybe needs to go through some spell check or someone decides to check if the numbers actually add up correctly. So I'll go into the report and I'll click on my options of the task and I'll just say add a lineup. But when I add it to lineup, I have to allocate which lineup it should go to. So it will go to myself, I will get that. And now when I go back to my home page, we will see there's the management report that has to be done. I can shift this around and move it around. And it shows me the top four. I can just move scroll further and I got a bit more. And the reason I've got a bit more is because sometimes I can line up things I have to do for the following two or three days. Doesn't always happen. Or it could be these are quick wins. Maybe it takes me two minutes or five minutes to complete. I'll just put it in here quickly, just so it's top of mind. This works much better than having something written down on a piece of paper and it getting lost. So I really recommend using the lineup function. But my dashboard, but that custom field I spoke about next date and the next date action field, it doesn't come default on your ClickUp space. So the way I created that is by using a custom field. So to create the custom field, I can choose to either make the custom field on the list level, on the folder level, or on the space level. Now because I use these custom fields across my whole workspace, I will go to my marketing space and I'll add it there because I haven't added that field there. So I'll go on the ellipses and I'll click add custom field by custom field option. And now this gives you options of creating custom fields. I will make a full video or you can see it a link below if it has been made on how these custom fields are used and how I use it in my practice. So I'm going to use an existing custom field because I already have a custom field called next steps and next steps date. I'm going to search, I'm going to search for gold, literally searching for gold because it's such a good custom field. My good custom fields that I use across my workspace, which is very important to me, I'll name it gold at the end, just so it's easy to find. So I've got the next steps date, use this field, and then I'll say, Use an existing field, I'll type in gold again, and this is the next steps text that must happen. So there's a next steps, use this field. Now that I've got those two fields inside, if I go into any of my tasks, so these are the type of videos that I'll be going forward or what I've got planned. Um, let's say this is a one of how pricing works and how users work. So in this case, I will put in next steps, the date, let's say by the 13th of January, um, the next step is to work out the flow and intro. So I'd like to talk about how the flow works because there is other content on there on how and what users can do on ClickUp, but I might want to focus on can a guest edit comments or can a view only person do they need an account with ClickUp? So I'm going to go to more of the advanced items and stuff that I get common questions from. I'll put that inside. So those are the next steps and that's what I, must, what I must do. Perfect. So when I go out of here and I go to my dashboard, it won't show up. And there's a reason for that. There is a reason why it won't show up. And this is where most people get it wrong with ClickUp. I didn't assign the task to me. So if I go back to my task and go to the pricing user and I actually click on assign this task to myself or to anyone else in the team, now that is assigned to me, now it will show under my dashboard. 
and under my name there's the click up what users can do with their pricing I would recommend on my side what I've done is having the next steps all in one space for all my staff members and everyone in the team and having it one for the week and one for the month and then in a separate dashboard creating additional dashboards for each specific staff member and then you could maybe then group it by the priority so is it high priority is it a low priority item then at least you can see and keep track of what is high and what is low and in that sense decide what is most important when it comes to next steps if you've got a lot of next step items cool look out for the next video the next video feature that i'll be sh showcasing is time tracking now the time tracking in clickup clickup really improved its game if you look at the features that the time tracking allows you and how easy it is to log your time and how you can see your different time per task and then under the dashboard feature see all your times in one space it's just amazing so i can see a summary of my times and the dashboard the ui is so well looking i can see for the day out of the eight hours how many hours i've worked if I've worked more than eight hours, if I met the eight hours, we can split it according to all the team members. And by clicking on it, I can also go in more detail and see what the details are. And I can even go break it down further in tasks and actually see if I did do it like that. I don't always do it like that, but I can see all the notes I've made. So if I've made notes like what I've done in that specific time frame. I can actually put notes on it also and I really want to show you the features of how to track your time and how you can actually monitor and do analysis on it.